Good morning. Hi, everybody. I have no voice. <laughs> I have been so sick and I like I feel fine, but my voice apparently does not agree. So I'm going to do my best to get through this. But um, I just wanted to pop on because I haven't in a while and there's been a couple of questions coming my way and I wanted to address them. And um, yeah, so that's about it. So how's everybody doing? And it's um, it's Wednesday, right? Yeah, it's Wednesday. I got my pink on. So on Wednesdays, where we we wear pink. <laughs> we still can't speak, though. <laughs> um, so the first question I had um, was somebody who was having some texture issues. And texture issues can come from a multitude of different sources, but the most common ones are either A, you're using too much, um, B, your brush isn't clean enough, or C, um, you need to use some kind of a setting spray to take off the excess. So let's talk about the setting spray because the setting spray is my go-to. I'm oily and so I love my setting spray and whenever I'm done, um, I take a little bit of setting spray. I just put it and you see how dirty these sponges get too. It's clean your sponges too. Um, take a little bit of setting spray and just squirt it on your sponge, let it set in a little bit and then you just, you just tap off your excess and that's gonna help with texture. That's gonna help with oiliness. Um, I do it on my eyes. I even do it a little bit on my lips. Um, it helps things to set, it helps things to stay. And yeah, it helps with texture. So, um, you know, I'm so sorry, my voice is so bad. Um, anyway, and the other thing that can cause texture issues, and this is a huge one, you guys, and I can't harp on this enough, and I know I harp on it all the time, but if your brushes are dirty, you're going to get a bad application. Um, you know, artists don't use dirty brushes, right? So we shouldn't be using dirty brushes. So the solution to that is the brush cleaner, and we also have the brush soap, which I use about once a week. Um, but in the interim, now if your brush looks like this, after you've used it a couple of times, you need to clean it um, because you're gonna have texture issues. So let's just, we just spray a little bit of the brush cleaner on and give it a good wipe. And there, see, it's gone. And so that's gonna give you a much better application than a dirty brush is. And so every time I get these questions from people saying, you know, it's not going on right, it just looks too splotchy, it looks too textured, chances are it's either because you're not cleaning your brushes or you need to use a setting spray. And the other thing that I was gonna say is we have the vanilla dust. This is the vanilla dust powder. You can see I use it a lot, I love it. Um, a lot of times I'll just apply it a little bit in my T-zones and that helps set your makeup as well. But again, <laughs> brush cleaner. You guys, I can't stress this enough. Brush cleaner, you need to use your brush cleaner. And so that way your brushes will always look like this and the application you get will always look flawless. And that's pretty much all I had for you today. And that's pretty much all I can muster up with my voice. So I'm going to say goodbye. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. And if you have any questions, please don't ever hesitate to message me or text me or any way. Um, the link tree below has every possible way you can get a hold of me. And I would love to help you. And so would Lenny, who is crying in the background, who wants to go outside. So I'm going to go let my dog out. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Love you. Bye.